Hi, Mike Huber, lead columnist of Moneyball Hitter Magazine and a hitting specialist. And today we are talking about uh, if you're in the minor leagues uh, and you want to make it uh, to the major leagues or you want a shot at the major leagues, what do you have to do? Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk about <clears throat> why 99% of all the hitters that get into the minor leagues do not make it, okay? First of all, um, once a player gets into the minor leagues, they're usually happy about being associated with, the, uh, with Major League Baseball or Minor League Baseball, and they're happy <clears throat> just to be out on the field, okay? So that's usually telling me that you're gonna last maybe one to three years and you're gonna get cut and that uh, you were just happy to be out there, okay? That is a majority of the players, to tell you the truth. The second phase are the guys that ha have a glimpse of hope, and they go in thinking that uh, the minor league baseball coaches and everything are really on their side and really want to develop them, and they listen to everything that they have to say, and within one to three years, they're usually cut after listening to all the bunk that they have to say, especially about hitting, okay? So, and then after they get out, they say, oh, that was a big mistake. I, you know, those guys led me the wrong way type of thing. I thought they were trying to help help out. Uh, minor league baseball, even though it's for developing players, okay, they do not develop players. And if you haven't heard this before, you're hearing it straight from Moneyball Hitter Magazine. They do not develop players. As a matter of fact, they suppress uh, the, your potential as a, as a hitter because they do not know anything about uh, how to get a hitter to hit for higher batting average and uh, increase their power. They do not know how to do that. Okay, And they will tell you some crazy things and it will all sound very, very professional until you go out and hit under 250 and under five home runs, which is the minor league average out there, okay? So um, what do you need to do? Okay, those are, those are two things that I usually see with minor leaguers, okay? Now, there are the occasional minor leaguers that last more than three to five years, which means they're putting up good enough numbers to float around longer. Maybe they're hitting 270 with five home runs, okay? The, those are, you know, the guys that maybe have a chance type of thing, okay? <clears throat> uh, if you're hitting over 10 to 15 home runs and you're hitting 270, you might get a cup of coffee and you might get your shot in Major League Baseball, okay? But if you're hitting 275 with, you know, 15 home runs in the minors, uh, you know, you're not going to put up those numbers in the Major Leagues, Let's be honest. So what do you have to do, okay, to prepare yourself to get your major league shot? It's very simple, folks. You have to put up larger numbers than normal in the minor leagues. You have to hit near 300 or over, A, okay? And you have to hit at least 15 home runs or more. 25 to 30 would be nice. Okay? I've got some good news for you. All, most, all 90, uh, probably 90% of minor leaguers have the potential to do that. And their potential is getting suppressed by the terrible hitting mechanics that's taught in the minor leagues. Okay? So, I'm going to give you a, kind of a mock interview what I would do with a minor league player who's maybe at that 255 home run level, 270, 10 home run level. He wants the shot, shot at the major leagues, okay? So what we, what we tell them here at Moneyball is, you're close. You're probably not going to get your shot with the numbers that you're putting up right now. You have to develop more power. You cannot develop more power by lifting more weights. That's already been proven. It's all with technique. We here at Moneyball have the techniques to do that, to lift low pitches, to keep the same types of power swings on curveballs and sliders, 
to not, you know, to control your body so you're not swinging at bad pitches. Uh, to put up higher batting average numbers and slugging percentage numbers within the first year teaching it. So we have a quick turnaround. You need a team of players to help you, okay? If you're not, you need probably a physical trainer. If you don't have one in the minor leagues that's helping you out, okay? Some guys have sports psychologists helping them out or mental confidence coaches, okay? And you need a specialty. The third piece definitely is a specialty hitting coach who um, gets is successful right away, okay? Now, how would a minor leaguer pay for that, okay? Some people can, okay, through their parents or sponsorships or something like that. If they're close enough to maybe get that shot, they'll come up with the money for something like that. Or sometimes at Moneyball, if you're really if you're if you're close enough and you're really dedicated, we go on a contingency. Contingency means we'll put some of the time we'll we'll put the time in to consult with you, to train you, um, to uh, you know do tune-ups during the year, uh, help you remotely, you know, through video analysis and stuff like that. Um, help you deal with these other hitting instructors that are going to tell you some wild and crazy stuff and how to get around that sort of stuff. We'll help you with all that sort of stuff. When you get your major league contract, um, almost like a caddy or a swing coach for a golfer who gets a certain portion of the salary, we can do it on that too. Okay. Because we're very confident, we're performance-based, results-based uh, business here at Moneyball, okay? But I'm just telling you, if you're a minor league player, this is what you need to do. You need to be an independent contractor. You don't go into the minor leagues thinking that they're going to help you out and they're going to push you forward and stuff like that. And they're going to make you all these promises and tell you exactly what to do. And next thing you know, you're hitting 250 with two home runs and you're done. It happens with 99% of the guys out there. If you cannot see that, you might as well turn this off right now, okay? You need a specialist that you're working with on the side. Instead of after the game going out drinking, picking up fat girls, okay? You have this plan in place where you want a shot at the bigs. You need to get your power numbers up. You need to get your batting average up. Uh, you need to get your mind straight. You need to get your goals straight. And it's a plan of action. Okay? And this is exactly what we as specialists help you with the planning, uh, planning stage, the training stage, with the confidence, things to expect in the minor leagues. What, what happens with a, if a minor league coach tells you this and you know that it's not going to work? How are you going to get around this sort of stuff. <clears throat> the only way to get around uh, political stuff that's going on with coaches and in the minor leagues and stuff like that is to put up big numbers where you're left alone. That's that's the only way, or else you're going to be hounded by coaches, and <clears throat> or you'll fall into the routine of go play your game, go to the bar, wake up, play your game again, and you're not even thinking about how much better that you're going to be, okay? You're just going through the motions. You'll be cut within one to three years. Sorry, I don't care how much talent that you have. These guys that make the major leagues, they're meant, they're born to make the major leagues. They have enough talent just to whip through the minor leagues and get to the major leagues, okay? Now, there are players who have the game plan who have the specialists on their side, who go about this in a business, independent contractor type of way. They get to the major leagues, stay in the major leagues, and do well in the major leagues. Okay? It's a low percentage of them, but we're going to make, our business is, is we're going to make it a higher percentage of those types of players for the services that we have. Okay? Because we know what's going on in the minor leagues, and we know 
it's all uh, I, you know, what word can I use? It's almost like a it's almost like a fraud. It's not it has nothing to do with developing. Okay, it's a numbers game to them. They're throwing all these great athletes in and see who who squeezes out into their team in the major leagues. And what they're finding is not a lot of them do at all. So they got to trade players and they got to grab free agents and stuff like that. So nobody's getting developed in the minor leagues. You want to get developed in the minor leagues? Have your own team. Do your own research. Get your own specialists. Get prepared in the off season, Not by lifting weights. Okay? You can do that. That's fine. That's not going to get you to hit better. Okay? You got to know how to hit from higher average and more power, period. You got to know those methods. I'm not going to discuss them right now. I'm just telling you, uh, when we work with players, our average is 50 points better in their individual batting average and usually 50 points better in their power numbers. On average, sometimes it's 90, sometimes it's 150, sometimes it's 30. We bottle all the thousands of players that we work with, and it ends up to be 50. Either way, you're getting better. As long as you're getting the at-bats, you're getting better. And as you go along, and as you start out hitting all your team members, all the hitting coaches, and everybody's going to leave you alone, and that way you can focus on your goal, and you can focus more with your team of people that are supporting you. You don't go into the minor leagues alone, just with, you got two parents or whatever, and then you go into the minor leagues alone, and that's it. You will be done. Okay? Just breaking it to you, clean, blood raw. Okay? So, you got to really want it to get into the major leagues, and that's how we do it. Uh, Mike Huber, uh, Moneyball Hitter Magazine. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.